So now this video is going to be something that I've wanted to do for a while in some form and have been unsuccessful so far but here we have an LED this is a 741 op amp it's being powered there and uh, powered there this is the output we got a little bit of positive feedback to kind of make a Schmidt trigger and I'm not sure why I need to do that but it works better when I do that so anyways the uh, LEDs they are kind of like mini solar cells so of course they light up when you run current through them that's how they're used but also when light falls on them they actually produce a voltage and a very tiny amount of current of course it's nowhere near in comparison with current running through them from a power source and so putting light on one that's lit up isn't going to make any difference but the op amp is a really sensitive amplifier so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my flashlight I could also just tip the lamp and uh, now you see that we got the uh, red LED on and this circuit's really finicky every time I bump it or something it kind of behaves uh, slightly differently so I'm going to turn on this flashlight so this flashlight I can make it wider and uh, more focused but now you can see when I get the light on the LED really good now the red LED comes on so it's a light sensor and uh, I have the lamp at the highest setting now when I turn the lamp off it's usually harder for the uh, flashlight to work but it's not doing bad now as I said I can bump something and uh, the, behave, the uh, circuit will behave a bit differently so now another thing I noticed with the uh, flashlight so I didn't think of this when I started I practiced this before I looked at it in camera but I'm gonna set the flashlight to its medium brightness and I'm hoping this shows up on camera like it does on the uh, preview screen so in person it just looks like it's not as bright as it was before but actually the LED is uh, turning on and off rapidly and the cameras picking that up but I don't notice that in person what I do notice in person is both of these LEDs are on right now and they look like they're maintaining their brightness they don't look like they're uh, flashing like it looks like on the preview of my camera so that's interesting there if I lightly press the button again so this is even dimmer and so the uh, green LED is probably just slightly brighter than it was before the red LED uh, a little less bright than it was before but they both look like they're steadily on to me whereas as you can probably see on camera unless you're seeing something different for me they're actually flashing so now I can set the cam the uh, flashlight to actually flash and this is flashing in uh, real time a uh, pretty fast strobe light and so I would expect right now that when uh, one LED turns on the other one turns off fully and so I haven't done anything in slow motion before but uh, I'll see right after I say this if I can get it to show up in slow motion So there we go. So anyways, ultimately what I wanted to do was something I've I learned a long time ago, I think when I was a little kid, that if you expose the LEDs to light, they will actually act like a little solar cell. And now that I've done some experimenting, I've been able to take a bunch of them in parallel and also in series, a lot of them in parallel series, and actually charge low value capacitors and stuff so I had fun doing that but I always wanted to just get it to trigger something just one LED and get an effect for charging the capacitors and stuff I generally needed a lot of LEDs especially for uh, slightly larger capacitors so anyways I found this project interesting I hope you did too I kinda had to set it up the way I did and like I said I can kind of bump things 
and it's see now that I removed that resistor it's uh, it's not switching and so I'm not a hundred percent sure why this resistor makes a difference but but it does and so I'm just kind of fooling around with it and some changes make it work better some make it worse and then when I adjust the light too sometimes that makes it worse 